Hello and welcome to Gen 4 Fixed. Well, Gen 4 Cup, there is no other Gen 4. So, we are here at Charlotte. I believe it is Legacy Charlotte. No, it's New Charlotte. I'm looking at the color of the walls here to figure that out. <laughs> but uh, we are about to jump into qualifying here. And I thought about not qualifying because it looks like we are in the top split. We are the 26th car. Um, I'm kind of surprised it's top split. Highest guy is 6.8, which is very strong. But I saw people even in practice that had higher than that. And so I am just going by what someone said. They might be wrong. They said it was top split. So maybe it's second split. But uh, right now, I, I'm assuming it's top split, and we are the 26, having just barely made it into top split, which is... Kind of a bummer, actually, because I keep not being in races with Nick and Gavin, which kind of stinks. Always enjoy being in their races. Two people I know are going to be decent racers. But that's okay. I thought about not doing qualifying, but we'll try to get some track position, I guess. Um, I don't know. Probably a bad idea. It is what it is. Seems like the key kind of tried to keep close to the bottom, which I failed to do there, spectacularly. So that kind of sucks. Just uh, easy to overdrive the entry. Got to get it kind of down to that blue line. Yeah, more like that. And then uh, be really careful on the throttle, not let it break loose. And if you can do that. Yeah, even that was kind of just, I took the throttle way too easy. But that's okay. Um, let's see what we can do. That was a better 3 and 4 that time. Not Still not as good as the first lap, though. Uh, this could be scary. Uh, Richmond last week was a bit of a wreck fest. And you would think this would be better, and I hope it is. But a couple of things working against us here are the fact that it's a free track. Though we might not, uh, that might not make as big of a difference. It's such a huge strength of field, 5.4. I feel like pretty much everybody here has been around a while, probably been buying a ton of tracks anyway, and all that. Um, and, you know, for a mile and a half, this place can get pretty narrow, so, you know, especially when you're kind of going through the quad oval. And the fact that I think this thing could get loose later on, potentially. It might be tough for guys to fold their line. And it could even get pretty sketchy heading through here. Side by side if someone ends up in that position, so... Yeah, we got people, like, getting in the 29s, which is just absurd. Got that unmuted. Uh, oh, right. Well, let's uh, practice a pit stop. If we can. Don't think I'm going to be up to speed, though. We might have to go around one more time. Now we're good. Alright, I'm satisfied with that. Gotta slow down all the way to 45. I kind of have a good idea where I want my brake marker to be. Thankfully, it's usually pretty similar to uh, ARCA, so long as you uh, consider the fact you might be going a little bit faster. So, not the greatest qualifying there. My best in practice was a 203. Would have put me in ninth or so. That's fine. Just gonna try to kind of take care of the thing for a while. You can see early on, the rears actually get more worn out if you're pushing hard. I think that'll switch over though to get onto the right front. But that doesn't mean it's not gonna try to snap on you and exit potentially later, so. Taking a look at who's around us. A couple people I know. I mean, there's guys you see around all the time. Some obviously really fast guys in here as well. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, so just keeping an eye on uh, seeing what we got out here, see if we could potentially have ourselves a good clean race, but I'm not so sure this is top split. I think this might be second split. Because I saw like some Coke series drivers practicing up there, and I saw Carson Hosevar <laughs> practicing too. And even though they might not have all actually entered a race, there was enough people in that practice that I feel like we could potentially actually have a split above us, but I don't really know how to check that right now. So I guess we will be heading out P12. That's all fine. Just got on our inside. Make sure I got all my settings how I want them. Brake by his back, steering offset where I want it. Okay. I'm going to just try to make sure I'm not overdriving. I'm going to kind of try to keep to the bottom of the track, run that bottom line the best I can. Well, hopefully not hitting it, because that can really cause you problems. But if I, I think if I'm keeping down low, I'm keeping it, you know, keeping the throttle within reason, not lighting up the rear tires. I think it could be a bit faster to kind of keep low on exits and at the same time be better long run. So that's what I think I'm going to focus on. And uh, hopefully I don't get hit from behind while I'm trying to do that. Been kind of rough lately. My uh, I rating, safety rating, all that stuff kind of been in the dumps. <laughs> but everyone kind of goes through that, so that's fine. I actually did finally by a new widescreen monitor. I had been saving up some money and I had some Amazon cards from various birthdays and Christmas and stuff and I finally put it together and uh, while I haven't installed it yet, it came today and uh, I'm gonna get used to that before I start running races and everything. But that should be great. It's widescreen so I should be able to see to my left and right a little bit better. I might still have to look to the left uh, sometimes depending on the situation, but I will be able to see farther left and right than I can now. And any extra view will be great. And uh, I'm currently on a TV, actually, so it's not built for, you know, latency, for response time. So I'm actually working at a slight disadvantage because my of, like, input lag kind of thing going on, which I don't know any better, so... Because it's all I've ever known. But theoretically, I would be able to, you know, fine tune my control of the car and such. Fight loose race car, all that stuff, even better. Theoretically. Might just be a minor help, but could very well be a help. So, getting some a better read of my environment. Better uh, spots time. Should look a little bit better. All good stuff. So, we are gonna start second gear, definitely with how much power we got in this thing. And uh, hopefully not light up the tires. Doesn't seem like it's doing too much though. Seems like it isn't quite as bad. But I'll be ready for it to uh, be a problem, just in case. Gonna leave some space too. And hopefully we get some uh, more green running in Richmond. Got a Terry Labani up there on pole. Okay, got carriage on. Hard to do your job. Green, green, green. Two car got a little bit loose. In front of me, that's fine. Keep high. Keep high. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Inside. Alright, guys, being Clear aggressive. Inside. That's to be expected. Clear Trying to find my spot here on the track. Not be too hard on the tires. There's someone on the apron down there. That's a little scary. My bad. Inside. 
Oh gosh, guy's getting really loose up ahead. I'm just not gonna do that to the car. We got a long race here. I don't feel like I need to push it that hard. I had to wait on the 24 on exit there. Oh, I see smoke. That's scary. They got it under control, though, I think. Session last lap. Hit for me from behind, please. Sorry. Inside. Still Thanks for not killing over there, Brian. Stay high for the car on the low side. Just gonna go around his outside there. He's a little bit off pace. Someone had left already. I wonder what that's about. Maybe a self spin that didn't bring out a caution. Eighteen kind of guarding the bottom. That's fine. Still early, I guess. But I'd like him to pick up the pace a little bit if he's going to be taking the bottom line. Head loose. Oh, that's Scott up there. All right, come on. I'm gonna get run over from behind if I have to wait for you so long. I'm trying to take it easy too, but. We're fine though. Heart's beaten, but we're fine. My bad. Now well, the three has wrecked someone. That surprises nobody. He's a real life, uh, I think, modified driver, and he's always causing wrecks. For anybody that doesn't know. Hopefully that took him out so we don't have to worry about him anymore. It's one of those names you see and you automatically regret Not your fault. signing up. It's not his fault, but... I was just trying to go to the top and misjudge you a little bit. What do we do here? It's only two sets of tires. I think we stay out. I don't feel like we went that hard yet. And I don't think these guys are going to be able to hold it together. We got a decently long run to start Richmond last time, and uh, it was longer than this. So that makes me worried that we're going to start the whole green and immediate yellow thing a lot sooner. We just really got to pretend that they're going to go to the pits. Some people behind are, but I think those are the guys that were damaged. So, um, I think we're doing okay. Where are we? P12 or so? That's... I'm coming out! Jeez. Isn't that about where we started? I mean, all is well. I feel like I've been good on the tires as much as I could be. Had to do some outside line driving a little bit, but I certainly didn't four-tire slide it or anything, which is very easy to do, I found out, while practicing. I was trying to figure out how guys were doing the 29.9s. I mean, I only saw one guy ever do that, and that was the number 10 who's in the lead right now. But, I mean, I only got up down to a uh, 
30.2, and there were guys, you know, in the 30.0s, 0.1s, and a fair number of them, so I was trying to figure out how they were getting that done. And I, I do think it's just about making sure you're on that bottom line near that, you know, near the blue line down here, and not overdriving entry, but also balancing on the throttle through mid right. and exit, doing your best counter steering. I think that's where a lot of that time comes from. Getting on throttle as soon as possible without being too early. That's my uneducated, uh, only slightly informed thoughts, thought on that. Just of course got the 30 minutes of practice beforehand. We'll do a second gear start again. We'll just have to be kind of careful. It doesn't get loose right on throttle, but it kind of like, once you start getting the higher RPMs, it starts breaking sideways, so that's what I think I might have to watch out for. Pitting now, we wouldn't have made it on fuel or anything, so that wasn't anything to worry about. Just not quite time to grab those tires yet. Especially uh, when Charlotte traditionally is a place that will chew the tires up, so I bet you could get much better lap times later if you happen to have the better tires. Don't want to be the one that doesn't have that extra set. We'll be on the outside again. Remember when we first started, I think it was the three in front of us he uh, nearly got sideways or was it the two I think it might have been the two the two in front of us it's a little unsettled on throttle but he had it under control I guess maybe broke our momentum on the outside lane on the restart maybe we'll get it a little bit smoother this time As the 26th car, I gotta remember that being in 12th place is a very good spot to be in. One left to green. Okay, Line up on the outside. Resume at the end of this lap. Got Scott in front of us. He's got like an RCR-looking kind of car right there with like the that design. I'm not sure if that is based off of anything specific. I don't recognize it necessarily. If it is, but like the pins oil and I don't know. Lots of fun era specific cars in this series so far. I've still just kept my uh, Arca scheme on this one up to this point, but I might try something a little bit different. Yeah, the caution did feel long. I watch the little spin for them. Oh god. Oh god. Maybe that'll mean people will Let's be careful. Thank Martinez for being late for the show for that. Caution. What? You, you heard, heard me? me? I, I, I'm afraid I didn't, driver. Okay, good. Hi, right, let's go. Get ready, going green. All right, are you starting? The pace car is in. Green, 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 green. That was a little easier with it there, kind of being extra careful. Clear inside. Kind of getting sorted out, though. Oh, the six really sideways there. That was scary. I'll leave a lane for this 11 up here. He looks like he's trying to go fast. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Still 
Gotta be careful in the quad oval, it's not a guarantee in this car. That is so aggressive. Not necessary, man. I don't know why he's cutting under me like that in a lane that I'm already occupying. So close to me, he's hitting me. Get away from me. It's freaking lap 16. Why are we three wide? So annoying. I can't stand freaking people that drive like that. Can't wait to get caught in a wreck that I can't avoid happening right in front of me. <sighs> so stressful. We're fine though. I'm just letting the stress talk. <laughs> Rough getting track position, that's what they want to do, I guess. Just gonna stick to my plan, what I think is gonna work. Had trouble getting it to the bottom there. guy's gonna run me over. Everybody's just so ready to run me over. He's gonna dive it in on me. Just go. Jesus Christ. No wonder I can't finish any races lately. Dives it in on entry, like, I'm not gonna take that spot. I'm trying to get an angle in the corner because it's lap 20 and I'm trying to save tire. Like, <sighs> I hope I didn't see a fucking lap 20. Were you looking in the rear view or windshield? I'm looking ahead of me. Cousin Carl here is driving the race of his life. Oh, we've just bled a bunch of positions. Oh, These guys run me over. Still trying to run me over, too. If you want to pass, go a lane up. I don't understand why you have to be right on my bumper. Are you serious? I'm so freaking tired of this, man. Can't hold the line. If you're gonna pass me, go! I'm such a bad mood, man. I'm trying to have fun. I really enjoy this new car. I mean, we can't even race at Richmond last week because every single race is a disaster. A complete dumpster fire. And they're trying to do it here, too. But I guess that's just what racing is. Like, I mean, it's Coda this week. That's what happened in real life, too. No one used any thought. So, like, I guess that's just real racing. So maybe I just don't like racing anymore. I don't know. Maybe that's what's happening to me. Outside of league races, I guess. 
How great the lead race is, is it's kind of like ruining these public lobbies for me, but whatever. Just complaining for no reason. I am sour just because I'm slow. Maybe that's what's happening too. I don't feel like I'm slow, I feel like I'm racing for lap 80. I guess we'll find out what happens. Finally have a little bit of breathing room behind us. After the whole field basically passed me. Hoping it'll start reversing here and we'll gain some spots back. I'm sure they'll wreck before then though. P19, still quite a bit of ways from halfway. We got a decent green run going right now. It feels good. Getting real unsettled on the entry to one. Car outside. Clear high. I don't know if the guy ahead just overdrove the corner, but we passed him pretty easily right there. So we get one spot back, I guess. the 11 who was going really hard really early looks like he's falling back at least it seems like the tire fall off is real we've got some tire fall off hoping that it'll be good for me Forget it, I guess. We can't keep it green. Yeah, 13 wrecks someone, go figure. Wants to dive it in on someone. Oh, never mind, it wasn't him. Yeah, I'm just sour. I'm just complaining, I'm sorry. It's great. It's appreciated. All about perspective, right? Yeah, respected. Of course, right as soon as it starts to be turning back in our favor. Can we catch the field? Lender 11, carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Pit road is now open. What are we doing? Go! God, I hate people so much. Can you tell today's been a bad day? I'm sorry. Okay, just we're not gonna gain any spots on pit road, I guess. The leader is pitching now. Number 
Mid lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. My apologies. Mid lane speed limit is 45 3, 2, 1. Right here. 8378. Wow, that's much more in the right rear than I thought. Okay. Line up, single file. Almost the 13's gonna be behind us so we don't have to uh, get dive bombed by him. Point five gallons. We're gonna have to save some fuel. We're good. We're doing good on saving tires. It looks like, but it's not gonna help us if we get a caution every time it starts to pay off. Four course yellow. Pits are open. Get stop thirteen. Car. <sighs> what spot are we in now? I don't even know. After all that uh, pit exchange. Sixteenth. All right, so we gained some spots on pit road, despite everyone wanting to wait to the last second to catch up. Two point one gallons. Two point one. That's a decent bit that we have to save, but we do have these couple of pace laps still to save a little bit more. There's no way we go green at the end anyway, but have to be prepared for any situation. Kind of helps the pace speed is so slow here. Can really uh, get on, you know, put it uh, the clutch in for a while. To the outside. We're still in a good spot. Still reminding myself I'm the 26. It would be hard to not beat my car number this race. That's gonna be tough to save though, that much fuel. I have to run a little bit differently. We'll see. Maybe just big lifts off. Less uh, break on entry. So we were good on the right front. So we could we can afford to even that out a little bit more. Mr. Overland, be advised. We are on 35 rifle tanks. Oh, there's people up front that are old? Junior. Old tanks? Junior. Pipe car is off. That sucks. This is seven. He knew it. That's Scott. <laughs> He's hold on to it. Clear. Clear. 
you know, the 13's not waiting to make that jump. There he goes, ready to wreck Scott. Scott wasn't having it, he was turning down and getting wrecked if that's what needed to happen. I don't like the other way the 13's driving. If that weren't obvious. <laughs> oh yeah, we are. <laughs> Doing big lifts off. Maybe saving some fuel. I'll think about clutching later whenever we don't have a bunch of cars around us, maybe. And they're wrecking. Run! No caution, I guess. Inside. Ain't no way. Still there, inside. Crazy. Clear inside. Ain't no way. How's that not a caution? Oh. I think someone tried to make it free wide on the outside. I don't know. We're lucky we didn't get caught in it though, that sucks though, because that was Scott in that. I wasn't even trying to get to his inside, I was worried about the guy trying to stick it on my outside. Which, clearly he must have done and then wrecked Scott. So no one has a clue out here. One point seven gallons, we're gonna start clutching. Get some room behind, so it's a good opportunity to do so. They're wrecking already up ahead, though, so what am I even expecting from this? I don't know. Okay, just want to save this fuel now while we can. Kind of getting tough in three and four actually because I'm in I'm not getting any engine braking, and so neutraling it in there I'm kind of going in a little hot. That was a Did it in turns one and two here as well. Are they going three wide for real? God. Uh, some blinking up ahead, that's not good. One point four, we're actually saving quite a bit of fuel at the moment. You know how like the Coke 600 comes down to fuel a lot of the time? <laughs> this place has uh, had a lot of great fuel mileage finishes, so that might be what we need to be looking for. 13, diving it down low, not sticking his line as usual. Yeah, if one of you so felt so glad to bring out a caution, please do so. Keep feeling low, guys. 1.5. I need the tower to be uh, more, uh, more willing to push that button. Yeah, the smoke is just this guy warping up here. I thought it was me, baby. 
stop time was 31.2. It's time for him to warp into the grandstand. Ooh, kind of fell a little bit hard there. 1.4 gallons. 1.4 gallons. That's doable still. It's gonna back off early. P15. I like that we have some space around us, that's nice. A little bit of. Uh, I didn't like that. I got a little bit of overdrive, like four tire slide there, mid corner. That's not good. Point two. I think I should be able to save the fuel just by uh, uh, doing the big lift soft. By being uh, gentle on exit. Well, we are over halfway now, that's good. Lap times are pretty consistent. 1.3 gallons. 1.3 gallons, okay. Sure would love if this went green to the end. Promise I'll take back what some of what I said about other drivers. If we can make it to green to the end. <laughs> I'll chalk it up to just me being a grumpy Scrooge. Which is also true no matter what the outcome. It's side by side up ahead. I can't get this thing to turn in three and four, and I'm like under driving it, I feel like. Guy like a centimeter from my rear bumper again. That lap was at 31.9. They're trying to wreck up ahead though. Saw some smoke. Wasn't sure what was going on. Car outside. Outside if you wanted. 28, really trying to get by me. Not there, but he's gonna dive it like he is. So that's what everybody does. Can't even hold his line. I think I gave him extra room, or else we would have wrecked.
I don't think he's faster than I am. I think he's just overdriving. We got room back here, so I guess I'll let him by. Clear inside. Inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. Clear inside. So frustrating, man. Ooh, almost got loose in the quad over there. That's cool. Well, I'm trying to wreck 28. So no one knows how to hold the line or anything. <sighs> I feel bad. I should just like mute this whole recording and say, "Oh, sorry, I lost the audio." I'm just such in such a bad mood today, apparently. Seventeenth, still not bad though. If I end up getting that, that's the twenty-six. Zero point six gallons. Zero point six gallons. I think we're naturally going to be able to make it. Scott, next time that happens, I'm going to loop it. Enough laps on fuel. Just racing normally. Got a second behind us. It's a good bit to work with, at least. Hold them up for about 35 seconds for me, if you would, Alex. Well, dude, driver. I gotta stop overdriving three and four, though. Heck, I might be the Austin Dillon caution here pretty soon. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, Jimmy, the bottom like that. that okay, you can see how much that gained me. I don't know, man. I'm, uh, By the time I get to the f turn one, probably three fourths of a tenth, maybe less. Maybe that's dramatic, but. Kane, how are you still here? You ran the top. So easy to put too much throttle in it. Very, very loose race car. Once you get some laps in. Trying to be smooth. Nobody seems to be falling off all that hard though, which is too bad. I don't know if they're going to fall off enough that it's going to make a huge difference by the time we get to the end of this thing. A little more uh, aggressive on throttle, maybe. Even if it's scary, because it's really loose. You've just done a 32.4. 
Are they wrecking though? No. Oh, boy, truck. Saved it. All right. It's about to come. You can't overdrive the corner that much. The gap ahead is now 0.7. Not bad, I did. I didn't need to drive through yet. Alan, drop room again. The car in front of us is Dalton. The gap behind is now 0.8. Oh, it's not Don't do it. There's no way we make it to the end, is there? Give in to the dark side. Tell you what, man, it's starting to smell in here. I saw that puff of smoke out for. Don't do it. Man, yeah, even a guy that should have like worse tires because he's been sliding around. I'm not. I don't have anything for, so I don't know. I guess I'm just not good. Oh. Car outside. Keep low. 16th place. Clear high. Pegging sideways. Got 12 laps to go. Just a 16th place for us. Be fine. Sounds about right. I mean, we are the 26, so maybe it sounds a little bit better than what it should. We're gonna catch this 28 though. He looks like he's on ice. Disney on ice. Yusef on ice, I guess. What are y'all gotta be itching? Come on now. Sorry, I'm not his name. I was trying to make a joke, and then I realized when I looked at his name, I'm like, Yusuf? Yusuf? Yeah. To be fair, we're all on ice. This is Colton on ice, too. But I turned uh, the heat on, tried to save some tires, and maybe melt that ice a little bit. <laughs> so at this point, it's a little less slippery, I hope, compared to other guys. It, it really it seems that way. He looks like he's really having a tough time wheeling that thing, though. Isaac, like, you know what? Come on back. How hard is he going to fight for 15th? The lap time was at 32.6. Looks like he's about to crash for 15. It's fighting hard, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough. Near the end of the race, I, I, I suppose. Know, you know what to do. Go low. Hang on to the driver. Go low. Oh, no, don't hang on to the driver. Big pass. P15. Up up time was 32.7. Nice and clean, good stuff. Not easy. 
Nothing about this is easy, but I feel pretty good about that. It really does look like we have much better tires than a lot of guys right now. But I don't, we, we have too much time to catch up, you know, we have too much ground to gain to really do anything about it. I'm thinking the 21 might have done better, a better job than I did behind us. Might not be the easiest to hold him off. You got five seconds to go. Five to go. Oh man, it's wanting to get sideways in the quad oval. You've just done a 32.5. Guy behind is right on my bumper now though. Don't know if I'm going to be able to hold him off. I left some fuel, so we were plenty good there. You've got two left to go. Terrible three and four. That be, might be enough for him to get to us. Doesn't look like it though. Don't crash. Holy cow, man. Just get to the end of this thing. I do not want to do green white checkered. You just got the white flag. That means one more left to go. White flag, one more left. Outside. Clear high. Still there. Got this. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. All right. Hold on to P15. Woo! I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Okay. It'll work eventually, Chris. It'll work eventually. As the 26, I'll definitely take a uh, P15, a top split, 5.4 strength the field. I believe how big of a. That's pretty big solid. Graph in that, and that feels crazy. Hope that would work it for 11 o'clock. I totally just ran you over on purpose, you know? <sighs> Don't say anything. Don't say anything. You were fast, all you do. Oh, oh you I, I gotta corner, but you remember. Like, Driving it in there, like almost hitting me every corner, and you finally did. I just moved over, I guess. Right. Fantastic stuff there. Scott, I hope Scott's not mad. Did I, uh... I don't think I drifted up for that caution. It was uh, here, right? I can't tell if he's being sarcastic or not. I hope I didn't make him mad. No, that's why I just ran him over.
I hope he still actually did enjoy it. <laughs> still had a chance to race. 50-40. In my final tires, I'll post that, I guess. Hmm. I mean, they're saying don't abuse your tires. That guy finished ahead of me, though, so maybe you do abuse your tires. <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's more about temp with these cars. It's so hard to say. Like, the guy, like, the number 12, he had better tires and he did better. This guy had worse tires and did <laughs> better. Hmm. Interesting. So we'll go look through the incidents properly. I got about a mid-pack finish. A little bit under where it qualified, but that's okay. Lots of guys that are very fast did not qualify, so that'll happen. Is the draft really a thing? This car? With the Arca car, it's basically non-existent, but there's talking about draft. Maybe I should have paid more attention to that if that really is a thing. So we got loosened into the wall. I'm thankful that wasn't a huge wreck fest like Richmond. Look at that. The three not even close. Like, slowing down for a corner enough. Like, look how much he just bonsais the 15. Like, that's why he has a reputation. Like, that happens so often. What if he does that in his real car? I don't know. I don't, I don't really watch modified racing. No, I would if I had a better opportunity. I don't have, like, flow racing or anything. I wouldn't mind uh, checking into that and stuff, but... Oh, that's a fun car. I haven't seen that scheme in a long time. The Ditech home ones. That's a good one. Thirty-three. This is under caution. I'm not sure what exactly I'm looking at. Like, where's the 20 going? He's trying to make it three wide. I honestly, I did not even want to send it on Scott there. I wanted to be patient. But the problem was, I had to stay a lane down because I knew this guy was really close. And I had a feeling he was going to run me over. Which apparently was a really good guess. Because I'm thinking he's going to run me over, so I enter a lane down, and that just gets me on the inside of Scott. And so, okay, fine, we'll go too wide through this corner, but the 20 said, nah, too wide's not wide enough. And instead of running me over, he runs Scott over. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure he was trying to save it, but thank you to him for not spinning down and collecting me, and instead turning up, getting the two of them. I'm sure that's not what was on his mind. I'm sure he's trying to save it, but uh, prevents me from being in it. So I appreciate him for that, but not even a caution. And a Scott, of course, mad because he just got flat out dumped. Plenty good reason to be mad. I wonder why we're seeing this 15 so much. Is he blinking or something? I'm just skipping before it gets a chance to blink. I don't know. I guess we're good, though. 23. Right back there, he might have damage or something. Six, getting loose. Middle corner. I'm not sure if... Is that what the, brought the six to us? I thought someone ran into the six. I thought I heard them talking about it, so maybe something else happens later. 
Not much going on. We're pretty spread out at this point, so just mostly uh, guys kind of getting sideways, maybe bumping the wall, maybe doing a little blanking. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, tires kind of wearing out. And me getting around the 28, or at least uh, still trying. Or is that him getting around me? No, this is at the point where I was getting around him again. So I'm just like taking it, you know, one turn at a time. I'm not like slamming the throttle, getting loose or anything. My approach was like, I've got the inside. That's the preferred line. I'm not going to overdrive it, get into them. I'm going to try to keep it pretty straight on exit the best I can. And eventually he'll spin his tires up enough that I'll get uh, clear. And I did. What kind of worked out? I think I needed a longer race. Though I, we did have people in front of me that uh, did better on saving tire. Like he says, he's even trying to save tire, and it didn't do much. So for me, also trying to save tire and not doing it as well, I guess it makes sense that it didn't really work out that great for us. Relative, of course. Great for the 26 car. Maybe less great for... Uh, if I wanted to get in the top 10 or something, for example. Coming closer to the end of this thing, though, we just got guys kind of tires falling off, maybe getting a little bit of wall, maybe not. Probably my tire hitting 50% on the rears, maybe. Your leader catching Scott. I don't know if there's going to be much more to see. Just tires wearing out. Scott going high for the uh, lead pack. Looks like they're making that exchange plenty well enough. But I'm thinking that's probably the last we'll see, so I guess that's going to do it. Here we are. I guess we can watch this to end it off. Uh, just doing my best to hold this guy behind me. Just barely able to. Looking like the Wood Brothers behind me in the 21. Same kind of like number and font, too. Probably coincidentally, but you can see he enters higher there. Kind of th like throttles up, maybe to consider going on the outside, but kind of just settles for getting a run, I think. I leave him the high lane for a second. Then I'm like, no, nah, I want to be up top. And I uh, just kind of run the second lane. Keep it smooth, make sure I'm not, you know, sliding it too much on exit. And uh, that proved to be enough. Hold him off for the P15. All right, so thank you for watching. Sorry for being so grumpy. Um, Richmond kind of put me in a bad mood last week, thinking we were just going to get a bunch of cautions toward the end. But thankfully, everyone kind of held it together. And uh, we got ourselves a solid finish as the 26, by all means. And uh, kept it 0x. And uh, a mostly clean race. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.